Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm deciding to sort of break up the drafts a little bit. I know there's been a lot, pretty much two a week. I'll still keep a lot of drafts, don't get me wrong, but we're gonna try to do another All Trades Accepted. I did one with a draft today. I'm gonna be Kyle Tubis on trade deadline day and just accept everything thrown my way. Normally I like to do the expansion team for this because then you have the off season and a lot of trades come in then, but I think I'm just gonna try authentic for this one and see how it goes. And obviously I'm gonna update the trade block so that we aren't getting completely finessed, just like I did in the last video. Otherwise, we are going to get destroyed. They will rip our team limb from limb and we will be left with nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn owner mode off, of course. Play them around, we will also turn that off. With trades going on left, right, and center, actually, I don't know how many we're really gonna get. We could get one, but either way, not looking forward to players being upset with trades. Fog of War, absolutely not. Salary cap, will leave it on. Head coach, edit lines. Jabroni, why do you even try anymore? Actually, just kidding. Ha, <laughs> we're still friends, right? Because I'm doing all trades accepted and I am not going in to edit the lines every time we get a trade. Now, of course, before we actually hit the open market, gonna edit the lines and see what we have right now and what it ends up being. Hopefully we get some trades here. So I'm gonna leave that on for the first time ever. Just kidding. Did it for the Fantasy Draft 1 as well. Jabroni's been getting some love on this channel recently. It's basically what I'm trying to say. I absolutely love that this fourth line is a plus one. Big fan of that. I really hope someone makes us a blockbuster trade for one of our top six, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Defensively, we've got Morgan Riley playing with Brody. Muzzin and Justin, and then Shen, the returning legend, playing with Eric Gustafson. Sammy and Matt Murray are the two goaltenders. Will they remain our two goaltenders? Let's find out. Abruzizi, the best name ever. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of that because our surplus is going to include everything, so I don't need specific players there. Defense, no, hold on. Why did it not set up a generic one? Don't tell me I have to do that. Second time's the charm? Nice, there we go. Any forward from the age of 17 to 50. You nailed it. There we go, that looks about right. The entire team is available. I'm taking calls starting now. Actually, let's hit the pause button on that because, like I said, we will get rinsed. I'm gonna go ahead and update what we want, first of all. Okay, hopefully our anti-rinse guards are up now. We're taking forwards, defense, and goaltenders between the age of 22 and 36. For draft picks, I'll leave them all on for now. And as soon as we start getting absolutely ripped, I'm going to go ahead and turn them off and accept only players. Moment of truth, will we make it up to the regular season without seeing a trade? No. Bunting and Yarn Crook. See, this is what I'm talking about. Draft picks got to go off. Accept and boom. There you go. Congrats, Edmonton. And here we go again. Kerfoot for two fourths. Okay. So I'm gonna accept and stop the simulation. Oh, we got another one in there. Grant for Lafferty, two sixths being swapped, fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit the big timeout right there because we're not accepting this. You know what I will do though? I'm gonna leave only first on, so that way at least it's gotta be worth something and the trade should be pretty big. In before the Florida Panthers send me a first for Matthews and I have to say yes. Can we make it to the regular season with our updated trading block? I think we'll have better odds. Yeah. Oh, never mind. We're not quite there. Okay, let's go look at our updated team and see how much we've changed already. Really not a fan of that dash two. Something's got to happen there. That will make it a dash one. Holy, what's going on here, guys? All right, so the last line's only gonna be a plus one now, but it is what it is. I'll take that over having a dash two, especially because we're rolling four line. Well, actually, not especially. And somehow our defense got better, I think. So we lost Kerfoot, we lost Bunting, and yeah, we already got kind of gutted, but nothing we can't bounce back from. We're still pretty solid. We got our top six still looking all right, minus... Achari, but I'm sure he'll pencil in there perfectly. See, the problem is we also have to still be good. Because that's the whole point. If we do bad, then that's lame. Accepting all trades is fun and all, but yeah. We don't want to just completely see our team tank. Kravstov and Poolman for camp. All right, let's get it done. Sure. I just want to make sure that Jabroni's doing his job over here. Marner doing work. Eight points in six games. And it looks like... Yeah. They did it. Kravstov 
is now our new fourth line right winger. Perfect. So I suppose this means we can just send it all the way up to the trade deadline. Don't have to worry because Jabroni's got it covered. All I have to do is accept every single trade that comes, which right now... My job's extremely easy. We're not getting any. We also aren't doing very well, though, which is a bit concerning. I'm gonna go check our trade blog just to make sure there's not some shady business going on and it got updated behind my back. No, it still looks good. Teams just aren't interested because we're not getting fleeced. So that's fine. We've already had quite a few trades. I'm just gonna keep running it, see if we get some more here. Whether or not we're gonna be a playoff team, that's an interesting question. I have no idea. Right now, we're sort of sitting in the bubble but this loss streak is certainly not helping. Fifth in the Atlantic. I mean, the point difference isn't massive, but still. We're getting Mojo in exchange for Ellis, Timmins, and Der Arguchinstev. I think that's his name. Der Arguchinstev. All right, I'll take Mojo. Caps legend. Sure, let's call up Robertson again. Back-to-back -back wins against the Jackets. Huge win there in Chicago. Montreal takes us down, but it's all right. We win two more in a row. Might as well make it three. All right, that was apparently the best trade ever. I am the best GM that has ever played this game. 2BC, 2GI, step aside, okay? Because you ain't got nothing on me. So here's the fun part. I'm gonna set us to a buyer. And I'm gonna enter the deadline and just chill. See what happens here. However, I could try going after someone, you know? Like I could try to find a trade for Colton Pareko and then I just have to accept one of them, but... We'll see if it gets to that point. For the first hour, I want to see if anything comes our way. This kind of seems like one of those deadlines where all the big moves happen beforehand, and then on the actual deadline day, there's not a whole lot going on, because 86 overall is the highest we have here. But to be fair, there's a lot. Normally, I feel like by the end, it tails off to 83 overall, so it's like middle heavy. There's no superstars per se, however... There's also just a lot of very solid players. It looks like all the top players are still available. So, even just all across the league. It's a pretty boring trade deadline right now. Here we go, Carolina. What have you got for us? Uh, nope. Okay, there goes Kerfoot again, poor guy. It's an absolute suitcase this season. You know what, while we're here, let's have a look at some of the stats. That's a good idea to kill some time. 73 points from Pappy already. Holy. 62 games. Marner has a nice amount of points. Will Nye, point a game. Johnny T, 55. Let's go. Mojo has 49 points in 58 games. How many has he gotten for us in how many games? 10 games played, 16 points. Mojo. The Ottawa Senators. Just a lot of draft picks. And then Gavrikov is thrown in there. The Wayne Train, 51 pims, as you do. Love that. Let's have a look at the face-off wins. Matthews, 896 with a 52.7. That's not bad. John Tavares, 56.4. We have a trade, and it is the Detroit Red Wings trading Cop, Pizik, and Cezarnik in exchange for Truba and Henry. That's a pretty big trade. All right, now we're talking. However, everyone on this front page is still available. Maybe this is part of the problem. It updated our trading block because of the fact I set ourselves to a buyer. So I'm going to go ahead and re-update it to include everyone. Nobody's safe. Oh, you have a no move clause? That's sick. I don't care. I didn't even get to change the wants. And we got a trade. Kravstov is leaving. And so is McCabe. We're getting back Benning. Splendid. And we're calling up that guy. Quick, let me turn off the draft picks. Off, boom, and future picks. No, please, boom. Done. Nick Letty and Saw traded to the Canadians. It's a pretty big one, too. The Bruins making some moves. Fabian Lysel, the guy that I thought wasn't real. Callahan, okay, so that yeah, one's not too big. If I recall correctly, Fabian Lysel is a Houston Hammerheads legend. Another trade, Eric Howla headed to the Edmonton Oilers for Broberg and Tulio. I mean, there's been some trades, but nothing insane. I'm gonna try it just for fun. Do you think we'll get him? Colton Pareko? Nah, no trades found. That's lame. What about Spurgeon? Nothing. Brodeen? Nope. Tori Krug? Yeah, I think we're just not getting anyone, to be honest with you. I think our trading's done for the year. There's absolutely no way this is gonna work. Let me try Jeff Skinner real quick. No, of course. So I think we're all set here. I'm gonna wait till 9, give it a little bit longer, 
But then I'm calling it. All right, yep. Yeah, Toronto Maple Leafs hitting him with the deuces. We are out of here. And this is our team now. We still have a Chari on the second line. So our top six remained fully intact. Our bottom six changed a little bit. Nothing extreme. I do like the fact that we acquired Mojo, though. Defensively, we're still chilling. And in net, obviously nothing changed there. Okay, so really there was no drastic changes to the team. Other than losing Bunting, which is our second liner. But, you know, overall, I would say we didn't get beaten up too bad. So with that being said, let's simulate the rest of the year and find out who we're going to play in the playoffs. That's right. I'm saying it. We're making it. Third in the division right now. Three points back on the Bruins. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, might have lied about that whole making the playoffs thing. It'd be sick if we could win a game. Nice. Okay. Winning a few games here. We're moving back up. This is huge. Really coming down to the wire here. We clinched. Fire me up. We did not deserve that whatsoever. Our division was just cheeks this year. With 92 points and 41 wins, we finished third in the Atlantic Division. The Carolina Hurricanes take home the President's Trophy. And we would sit 14th in the league. And it was the top 16 teams that made it this simulation. Let's find out if Carolina made any moves. I feel like they probably didn't. Make any major moves anyway. Matthews with 96 points. We got 86 from Marner and 80 from Will Nye the Hockey Guy. So our first line did bits, which is to be expected. Tavares 73 points. O'Reilly 62. And Mojo with 60. So he kept up that pace. Holy. 30. Never mind. He did not keep up the pace. But he still did very well. Goaltending not our strong suit. But they did okay. 907. For Ilya, 281. Marie did pretty good. Had a 913. He only played 18 games though. Oh dear. The Bruins in round one. I just clocked it. Let's see how it goes. Sim the first four games. Hopefully, the Maple Leafs come out on top here. All right. We are up three to one. And it looks like... Oh no, don't you dare. Don't do it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We have to go in. We have to. Toronto gives them a power play early. A long... That was the longest power play I've ever seen. And they only had three shots. That's embarrassing. Now, we have a power play. I don't think we even got one shot. Never mind. Tavares scores on the power play. And then he gets another one. How about that, Linus? Or Linus? Not sure which one it is. Okay. DeBrusque had something to say about it. Fair enough. No one's pulling away for shots. Except we are pulling away in goals. 3-1. For the Toronto Maple Leafs. Five minutes to go in the second. I guess, yeah. Olmark not having a good game overall. But he's kind of pulling it back here now. 18 shots. Third period. 20 minutes of hockey left. How will this go? Will the Boston Bruins mount a comeback as they do? Or will Toronto hold on with that lead they have currently? It's looking real good now. Six minutes. I think it's safe to say that Toronto's moving on to round number two. There's your three stars of the game. Who's going to be our second round opponent? The Montreal Canadiens. They must have made a lot of trades. All right, here we go. Let's sim the first four games. Nice. It's a good start. I don't care about the AHL right now. That is the last thing on my mind. It's a best of three. Will we get the advantage in the best of three? Yes, we do. But will Montreal push a game seven? No, they don't. And now we have the jerks. In the Eastern Conference Finals. The President's Trophy winning jerks who have lost one playoff game so far. It has been an absolute breeze for them. But they have not faced the Toronto Maple Leafs. Alright, so it is a best of three yet again. And we don't take the advantage. Alright, we gotta jump in here. Sebastian gets on the board early. one nothing Carolina. Shots are still looking even though. They were pulling away for a second there. But Toronto brought it back. Can we score? No, we cannot, but they sure can. Martinuk, power play goal, puts the Canes up by two. That is not a good way to start a first period of a game six where your back's against the wall, Toronto. That's a really good way to start a second period, though. O'Reilly and Riley. <laughs> They're both spelled different ways, pronounced the same. Halfway through the game now. Score is tied just like that. Jerks really did pull away for shots this time. But they are pulling away on the scoreboard. Will Toronto push a game seven? It all comes down to this third period. 
Here we go. Come on, Toronto. Let's push a game seven. That is not what we're looking for. Goss Despair is going to score just above the slot there. And give Carolina a one-goal lead. Toronto power play. They can't capitalize. Oh, but Nolichari does capitalize. It's a 3-3 hockey game. Will we see overtime? We just might. We sure do. Come on, Toronto. Let's go. Yes! Marner! We got it! Freddie Anderson and... Wait, did he get traded? I don't think he got traded. No, we looked at the team. He was still there. But, yeah. The Leafs going against their former netminder. And they managed to push a game seven. In the conference finals. Scoreless first period. So far seems like a very defensive battle. Power play for the Leafs. And they don't score and Turbo scores right after it ends. But then Grant. Guy's been a playoff all-star. Aston Reese is going to score as well. Putting the Leafs back up on top. Well, I mean, technically they never were on top. But now they are. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this third period started. Yarvis. It's going to bury one. But Marner fights right back. Holy... This was a defensive battle. Aston Reese again! What is happening? This is the most outrageous sequence of hockey I've ever seen. Goals non-stop. It went from no goals to a shooting gallery. This is the definition of floodgates. And Toronto does it! They move on to the Stanley Cup Finals. The three stars of that one. Yeah, Zach, you earned it. It was the Anaheim Ducks and the Colorado Avalanche in the Western Finals. So we have... The team that just won a Stanley Cup in Colorado going for back-to-backs. Well, I guess in this, technically, they didn't. But anyway, let's see if we can take them down. That's a great stuff. What just happened? Well, there you have it. The Bridgeport Islanders. I like Sound Tigers better. But anyway, Toronto Maple Leafs Stanley Cup champions, baby. How did that happen? Thank you, other GMs. See, what did I say? I am simply a GM mastermind. I know what I'm doing out here. Accept every trade, say less. I'm actually so clueless when it comes to this mode. I know nothing about it. I know how to fantasy draft, and I know how to accept a trade. And apparently that's all I need. Let's look at some player stats here. Johnny T, 23 points. Same with Willie. Matthew's down here at 21, and O'Reilly had 22. Interesting. Mojo, 16 and 24, not too shabby. Ilya played amazing, a 924 save percentage and a 239 GAA. You gotta love that. There's a very slim chance that he could win the Conn Smythe. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it's also not impossible. Let's check out defenseman here. Kill Makar, put up 17 points in 19 games. What a beautician. And then Tavares, this is the entire league. We have the top four outrageous. Zegras had 19 in just 17 games, and then Ranton in 20 and 19. Nate Mack had the same. Moment of truth. Will a goaltender go on to win the Conn Smythe? Nope, it's Tavares. Any other trophies for us? Of course, Freddie gets the Vesna and the Jennings. I mean, to be fair, Carolina was bonkers this year, so that checks out. But then his former team, the Toronto Maple Leafs, go on to win the Stanley Cup. And Matthews gets the Rocket Richard. How many goals did he have? Oh, holy crap. I just breezed over that. I said he had 96 points. Didn't even look at how many goals he had. What a legend. Let's go to the entire league. Was it a close race? Yeah. 52 from Ovi. 51 from Nate Mack. He actually almost had the Art Ross. I mean, not really almost. You know, he's five points back. But still, he's second in the league. There's your playoff tree. A sweep in the finals. I still can't get over that. Also, look at Colorado. They never went to seven. And that is especially true for the Stanley Cup finals. But they went to six, sweep, and then five. Whereas we went seven, six, and then seven. And then sweep. Out of nowhere. I guess we were just the beast from the east. And the west, or the west, couldn't handle it. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that one. If you want to see me do another All Trades Accepted. Or if you just have any video ideas, be sure to leave it down below. And yeah. Maybe we could try a different team. I'm always down. But I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.